Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. Before we get started, have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button on my main page. And once you have done this, don't forget to click on that bell to be the first to get notified when I upload a new video. In today's video, we will be taking a look at the brand new Vegas Pro 16, which I am extremely excited about. It now offers lots of brand new features such as motion tracking, video stabilization, HDR support, 360 editing support which is extremely cool and it also offers interaction between storyboards and timelines. Let's go ahead and look at a couple of these features now. The first feature we are going to be taking a look at is the interaction between storyboards and timelines. If I go across to my project media and then click on storyboard bins and then open up main timeline and as you can see I have my one clip which is up the top here in my main timeline folder and I have that clip on my timeline at the bottom. If I now scroll on one of these lines for example this line here I don't know if you can see it but I will zoom in now if I now drag this line across, it is actually extending the clip on my timeline. If I just drag it back the other way, it now cuts it down, which is great. This is fantastic news. This means that whenever you make a adjustment on your timeline, it will also show that adjustment in your main timeline folder. And that is what Vegas means when they say interaction between storyboards and timelines. The next new feature we are going to be taking a look at is the masking tool. If we go across to our video FX and now go down to masking, we have a few different presets. We have a circle, a square or a diamond. I'm actually going to use the circle for this video. All you need to do is drag the preset to your video clip which you would like to mask and as you can see it's now added a circle onto my preview video. I can move this circle anywhere I want, for example I can move it over here and we now have lots of different options. If I expand the general options we have blend, I can move this up if I want or move it back down. It depends how visible I want the video clip. We can also invert the mask and we can also just click on mask FX which just basically hides the mask. We can now go down to mask 1 which is our circle and we can simply adjust the size of the circle or we can do this on the preview window. We can also go down to tracking and we can press start and basically what this is going to do is track the object. For example the guy that's in front here it will hopefully try and track him. Next we are going to be taking a look at the new features that are in video stabilization. To add video stabilization all you need to do is click on the clip and then go up to tools, go across to video and then click on media FX and you now need to click on Vegas video stabilization and press add. We can now go ahead and press OK and these are the new options we have for video stabilization. If I just expand the correction and motion blur and there we go as you can see lots of different options there which is fantastic. I always do love the video stabilization plugin as this really does help if you don't have a steady hand like me when recording something on your phone. And now for the part you have all been waiting for. How much is Vegas Pro 16 going to cost you? If I just open up their website quickly we have a few different options here. If you have never owned Vegas Pro before then you will need to do a new purchase and at the moment this is £499. If you have Vegas Pro 15 then you can click on the upgrade option and this is only going to cost you £209. 
which is a fantastic offer and I do highly recommend that you do upgrade to Vegas Pro 16. If you have never owned Vegas Pro, then I do also recommend you purchase the program. If you really are into editing videos, making videos for YouTube, editing gaming videos, then it is definitely worth it. You will not find a better video editing program. But if you would like to test Vegas Pro before you purchase the program, then don't worry, there is a free trial. And I do recommend you do give it a go, but like I said, you will not regret it if you do purchase Vegas Pro 16. I will be doing a lot of tutorials on the program, so if you do get Vegas Pro 16, or if you already have it, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel to get all the latest Vegas Pro 16 tutorials. If you go to the link that's in the description below, it will take you to this page where you can purchase Vegas Pro 16 or give it a free try. It also has lots of different videos and lots of text explaining the new features in Vegas Pro 16. I hope this tutorial has helped. If it has, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.